dog cast. Look at this dog. Look at that dog. I took the plunge and uh, had the time of my life. I finally took the plunge. You know what? Feels great. What's up, guys? Welcome to the plunge. Today is a day. Joining me, as always, my lovely husband Riley T. Say what's up. Dude. I don't matter this episode. And have special a, guest. We have a much my more. Niece. We have a much more important guest to bring yeah, in. My niece, Winnie the Do. First time, not long time. First time, she just got here. Immediate host of the show. She looks so not feeling good. She's better. She was just having the zoomies. She's tired now. Oh, she's tired. She'd be in a good. I know she can't hear me, but I'm going to talk to her anyways. Yeah, she'd be in a good girl. She is. Yeah, she was. Uh, she's like she was faking. But she's like these are a lot of buttons. Producer went. Producer do. <laughs> Winnie the producer. Winnie the produce. <laughs> yeah, I got a dog. Here's the. You dog. did get a dog for all you video <laughs> watcher. Here's dog. Winnie the producer. <laughs> no, you can't. I'll actually maintain a good. I did find out I had a vulnerability in my fence. I knew that because she just almost made it into the pool. Oh, she's touching buttons now. Can you elaborate where this is? Because I feel like that's going to be useful for tomorrow. I put a brick in front of it. I found this out because I was watching her. She was zooming around. And then I turned away for an instant, and she was in the pool area. And I went, how in the fuck? And then I went, must have left the gate open. I didn't. So then I brought her out of the said pool area into the regular fenced-in backyard. And she just goes right back to it. Little idiot, she revealed the vulnerability. You never reveal the vulnerability when you have it. Dude, you got to teach her the sneaky roofie boy ways. She is smart and it's going to be a problem. Yeah, but you are you telling me that you're not smarter than a dog? I think you just farted, girl. <laughs> I might not be. She likes that I think she likes that all the buttons are moving and the lights are going are doing shit on the on the board. Probably she's got like a little bit of just general dog brain. <laughs> She's already getting very big. <laughs> you have long arms. So. Her paws are so big. Yeah. This is just going to be 45 minutes to an hour of us talking about how cute this dog is. It is a cute dog. It's an undeniably cute dog. I kind of have beef with the vet today because when we, when Lauren walked in, I can't say we, I did not go to the vet too. When Lauren lo- walked in, they did not immediately go, oh my God, what a cute dog. We're going to a new vet now. As you should. Yeah. Did you go to the oh, one on Seth Willow? Yawn. No, I don't. You went, should go to the one on South Florida. We went Bedford, which I would have thought would have been a good vet. No, no they're they probably are stuck up, maybe, but they should be. They're, used- they're probably like the the show dogs and like, oh look at this good girl. It's like this dog is eleven pounds and it's the size of a mastiff. Six pounds right here, pretty good. Are you drinking a? You have cherries. Did you make yourself a Shirley Temple? Oh, what are you drinking? I'm drinking a whiskey with cherries in it. Okay. Happy Pride Month, I guess. That's gay. That's not gay. It's so gay. No, it's not because there's two cherries. Putting out a... Yeah, balls. You like balls in your whiskey. They're not even in my mouth. You can't say they are because you can see them. They're currently on screen. Oh, mom's home. Isn't she? Winnie the Deucer. Winnie the Deucer. Mom's about to see Winnie the Do, sir. All right, I'm hanging out at your house tomorrow until one of you gets home, which will probably oh just parlay they into... Got, they got the big lamb chop. For, for Winnie? Yeah, here comes big lamb chop. <laughs> <laughs> big lamb chop has arrived. Winnie's Big problem. lamb. All right, goodbye, Winnie the Do, sir. I do like how you could just pick up Winnie, and she's just like, all right, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm coming with. 
she has been eating my socks. Now the problem with that, they haven't. She hasn't been eating rogue socks. She's been eating the socks on my feet. So she's just been chewing on your grippers. Also, she has a knack for the Achilles, and so I'm just gonna let you know to be ready. Your Achilles is going t- to hurt because she will attack it, and I can't even do anything. You can't. I can't deter her attacking my Achilles. She's I'm going to be like Aaron Rodgers when I imagine Lauren's getting home first. Yes. I'll be. I'll just limp my way out, go to will. urgent care. It's me right now. I have literal holes in the socks that I'm wearing on my feet right now. I did not, sh- ha- I did not have holes in my socks to start the day. She has just Dude. been open mouth jawsing my toes. Do you want to know what I have been experiencing today re- with regards to my feet? Sure. My feet have officially gone all the way down for swelling. Your hobbit feet? I, don't, I think we have to talk about that. Yeah, did we not talk about your hobbit feet? Dude, it's been like 11 days since we recorded. Nah. But we record every seven days. It's true. But for background, late, not Labor Day weekend, Memorial Day weekend, I got real burnt at Riley's house and my feet got real swollen. And as of yesterday, my feet are completely not swollen. And I got, I got Birkenstocks during the burnt time. And I have to tighten them because my feet were that swollen. Yeah, it's your feet quite literally looked like hobbit feet. Look at them. N- not right now, beforehand. Well, they still kind of look like hobbit feet. But... Yeah, but they were plump. You had plump feet. I'm still fighting the burns from that faithful day. I I'm thought I was tougher than back. the sun. Can you believe that? Brother, I'm not. I don't wear sunscreen. I don't believe in it. I'm getting tan this summer. I'm already whether, getting tan. Whether you now. like it or not. I have a mullet now. That's pretty sick. That's pretty, yeah. Should we, should Seven I days a, ago. Should I headphones off, do a quick display? We're, yeah, we're, quick one. We've changed since the monkeys. I became a man. Since we monkey movied, we really evolved. <laughs> it's, it's true. You like that? You like that one? Oh, damn. Look at him. Demian no more. Demian is officially dead. I can't wait for it to get even longer. It's already can't really hear me. long. Oh, he can't hear me. I know, but I want it like I want some guy to be like, damn, that's that's that that bitch has got a fat ass in can front I, of me. Hey, can I tell you I got the best compliment today at work? From someone said, Damn, you look like Kenny Powers. That goes crazy. That's the best thing you could say to another man who's growing a mullet. It's maybe the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me in my entire life. That's not true. I've been pretty nice to you. No, that's absolutely not true. It's not even a little bit true. Why don't don't do this to me? Hey, while you're at it, go check out the 5th of November, directed and starring Davis Lennon Clark, our newly... Should we hire him back? We should hire him back. Should we give him a call? Full time, yeah. I'm going to give him a call. He's going to be mad. He's not going to like that joke. He did just get laid off, and we're about to make a joke. But Maybe we don't say no, hire I, him back. It's already. It's on the airway. It's... He's going to pick him go up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh. Yes. Hey, do you want a full-time job at the Plunge Podcast? Would my recent work situation be a reason for this offer? Unrelated. No. Am I currently on the plunge as we speak? Maybe. I plead the 5th of November. Yes. <laughs> what would be my roles and responsibilities? Co-host. Third chair. He can run the ship. I don't care. Monetary. If it gets big. We're six years in and haven't, so you do that math. We, the current individual who did your second chair still be on the ship. I'll quit right now. I will take managerial duties from him. That didn't exactly answer my question. <laughs> He'll be there, yeah. <laughs> Did he just hang out? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you fired him. He's he's he held on to it. You fired Better him. Call back. You fired. If he doesn't call back, is he fired? He's fired. Okay. What if he calls you back? He called imagine <laughs> calls me back just threatens me <laughs> i'm i'm gonna need you to go 
You didn't relay my message. I told him I would quit right now. Yeah, I need you here. <laughs> For what? What exactly do I bring to this operation? The wheel, mostly. Not I I still am not logged in. No, you're the keeper of the wheel. Can you text me? I don't the stuff to log in. I can try. I don't know it. Let me see if I'm logged in and then I'll change it to something I do know. I genuinely do not. It was one of you ever have one of those where you change the password to like a a non-standard password for you and then it's just gone into the ether. I used to have to do that all the time at work, but I have a biometric like my middle finger. I put down on a biometric scanner and then it would log me in. Nice. And then I would call support like once every six months and be like, hey, I forgot my password. And they're like, when? And I was like, I don't know. Like if it was today, I'd be like, I don't know, November of last year. Like you're just calling us now, yeah. It expired. Oh, account info. We're probably gonna have a fat letterbox we segment do. tonight. Honestly, are you watching a James Bond movie tonight? I can probably, yeah. I should have just come over. Maybe. All right, Hunt. I think I've done it. All right, I did it. You now have access to the wheel. How does it feel? Hold on. Oh, it's. I thought it was a different email provider. Well, I just changed the password. I was able to unlink it from our Google. So. Ooh. Because I also don't know that, Pat. That's the crux of this. (laughs) My Google knows the password. I do not. (laughs) So. I was using a completely wrong. We're using Ad Outlook. I was, in yep. fact, using the the wheel. Yeah, it's the wheel one. Hold on. I got to go and do... You, you're you going to have to fill because I got to do some... Uh, I got a dog, everyone. She's a mini golden doodle. Her name is Winnie the Dew. No last name. I Her name is Baby Girl, if we're being completely real. <laughs> I call her Weenie, like I call my dogs. I call her baby girl, and it's becoming a problem because I think she answers to that more than Winnie. I need to get back into the being like, hey, your name's Winnie. Her name, to her, her name is Ow or baby True. girl. Also, do you, do you you currently have the Pierce Brosnan James Bond, right? I do, yes. Or no, is no. It it's Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Sean Connery, okay. I don't know why I keep thinking that you have Pierce Brosnan. Hey, go check I out think... the 5th of November. On Davis Lennon Clark's YouTube. I plead the 5th of November. Also check out I Feel Great. That was the the thing that I couldn't think of the last time we did It this. was. Go check and out. also the things we st- burned to stay warm. What is that? I don't know if that one... That's another one, project that he did. I don't know if that is available for the general public, but I do know that that was a thing that he was in. I think it got submitted to like a film festival. Yeah, we actually we do have a lot of letterbox to catch up on. I'm looking at it right now. Hold on. I gotta Do you want to drive for that, brother? I could drive for that. All right. I don't remember what's my username. Oh yeah, you've you've entered the realm. You're a letter boy. I am a letter boy. You're a letter boy. That's exciting. Okay. I wish Jack Harbison Hagler would podcast with us. I miss Jack. I haven't seen his beautiful face. I haven't talked. What the fuck? My credentials don't match. That's a shame. I miss Jack. He's a good boy. He is. Happy anniversary to Jack and Sarah. And uh, two years, I think. Right. Sure. I feel like I'm pulling a Jack right now. Just tell. I don't get. No, you're not. Jack would have so much detail. An unbelievable amount of detail that hag that hagman would have. The hagman, Big the hagman hag. would, in fact, Big Hags has all the info. I'm excited to see him. We're about as far away from last. Se- Actually, it's been two years. We're close to seeing him. When? December. That's not very close. It's closer than the last time. So since the last episode, we I've watched Fantastic Beasts, The Oceans movies blade runner a bunch of yorgos before we start start this can i and can i read brian's review for bloodsport yeah bro is this new i haven't seen it 
I ain't your pal, dickface. This might just be the most exotic porn acting movie I've ever seen. Also, just a god awful film. Hey, pull it up. This is a. Oh. Or can you? I can. Okay. Brian has good reviews. He does. His reviews are very funny. Hey, zoom in, boy. Actually, that's fine. No, I'll zoom in. I hate your pal uh, dick face is awesome. This is a store. This is store brand fight club roadhouse, but way worse and so much less Merca. Yeah, because it's a it's the Kumite. Hilarious final fight scene. I've never seen so many consecutive spinning face kicks in a row. And to top it off, they slow mo it right when his tootsies scrape against buff Asian man's face. Buff Asian man did go crazy. He did. Was this a hit when it came out? Yes. No. Yes. It made so much more money than you think. Really? Yes. I only know these as like niche movies that I love from when I was a kid. Bloodsport made fifty million in the box office. In the eighties? Yes, on a budget of one point five million. When did it come out again? Nineteen eighty eight. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. No, oh, I don't want unfrosted. I want. No, we want unfrosted. Well, we got to go in order. Yeah. The diary. Yeah. The diary can help you get there. Yeah. So, uh, Fantastic Beasts hate them. Really hate them. They weren't as bad. Still mad about it. Nicholas Flamel. <laughs> Mad about Very Nicholas new. Flamel. Fantastic Beast, The Crimes of Grindelwald, 2018, two and a half stars. Why does it have Nicholas Flamel? I hate Newt. I do remember you said that in your first one. I'm not going to read it because I already know that we've read it. Yeah. Newt says. Uh, Nim Chimsky could have played Fumbledore, but Dumbledore couldn't play Nim Chimsky. That's right. The entire cast got canceled between the second and third movies. How can this franchise possibly end? I feel like we also read that one. I don't remember, but... I was there for that one. Yeah, you I were. had no idea what the fuck was going on. And you said, and I quote, you're just going to have to figure it out. And then I never did. Correct. So the crimes of Grindelwald was marrying Amber Heard. That's pretty much it. Okay. And then Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Spoiler it's I'm that so he's excited gay. for your line. Yeah. It's that he's gay. The whole enti- uh, the secret of Dumbledore is pff, gay. He was gay for Grindelwald. And Grindelwald was gay for him. Let's see. 2022, three stars. They dedicated so much time to this crab walk. You almost have to respect it, despite how stupid every second of it. I I love him. that I know you didn't start like reviewing this movie until about 40 minutes in. Yes. The crap really pissed me off. <laughs> Them they're shifting in this cavern. Johnny Depp. They're in this cavern, you see, and there's killer crabs that will kill you unless you No, 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 no. Walk. There's big mama killer crab yeah, scorpion yes. hybrid. And then there's also fire, if you're wondering. And then there's crabs. And the crabs won't eat him unless he dances at a very slow pace around this these halls. And Not it, to be confused they dedicated, with Crab from Crab and Goyle. They dedicated so much time. It was legit like nine minutes on screen of them crab walking. Yeah, and then his brother did it too. Correct. And then he said, you're not, what is it? You're not twisting correctly or yeah. shimmying yeah. correctly? Yeah. That did make me laugh. Yeah. Them shifting from Johnny Depp playing a super cool, in-depth, sick-looking character to having generic German guy play him as a Donald Trump character is an interesting creative choice. Yeah, I hated it. I hated that they just, they just didn't even try to make Grindelwald look like Grindelwald when they had to replace Johnny Depp. It was crazy. It was cra- just hire Johnny Depp. Just do it. Separate the art from the Correct. artist. Grindelwald's cool as hell. The new guy sucked. You do the math. If Dumbledore is gay, then I'm gay. Correct. Really thought that tiny deer was going to make Jacob king of the wizards, not going to lie. You were on that for like a solid 30 minutes. I thought Jacob was going to be the king of the wizards. I still kind of do. They had one quick glance of Quidditch, and it had the CGI quality of a PS2 game. I remember you, me, and Brian all just looked at each other. Yeah, we're like... And you're like, "Did, did you see that? Yeah. I think this would have been a great movie if it simply had Johnny Depp. And more Jacob, honestly. Yeah, all the movies are lacking Jacob. Yeah, I mean, it was fun. That movie could have been good. Could have. Yeah. It wasn't. Ocean's fucked. It was crazy. I told 
you're gonna like a lot of too. the wheel movies are just movies where I'm just like, how did I miss these? Because these fucked. You're you went right past them. No, no, no. I'm just looking at what else you've watched. Oh, okay. Ocean Eleven, Oceans Eleven, yeah. two thousand and one. Who knew? Stars. Who knew it was Danny Ocean's Gang of Eleven? Who fucking knew, dude? This is true. Cinema, a gang of Captain <laughs> Bitches's bitches captain bitches's yep you got assembles that was really hard to say (laughs) no notes this eats and we'll be getting into my regular watch rotation this is like when you go in the casino you watch 21 correct you watch oceans 11 yep and what's the the nicholas cage one is that just casino yeah julia roberts big lips makes me uncomfy why is don Cheadle a member of the peaky fucking blinders and Don Cheadle might as well does suck. He sucks in all three of them. He does. Might as well call it White Jack. An incredible line by Bernie Mac. Yeah, Ocean's Eleven. Four any, and a half any stars. Closing, 90, it just goes crazy. Gave it a ninety-three. Yeah, no notes. It was great. Ocean. Oh yeah, this one wasn't great. Yeah, Ocean's Twelve. Not the best. They got back to their roots in thirteen. Twelve. They're like thirteen. I thought it was sick. Twelve. They're like, let's see. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. And it didn't work that well. You know why it did work? It's because hot dudes, the king of bitches is assembled. Okay? Ocean's yeah. 12, 2004, three stars. It's no wonder Brad Pitt was the first ever man to win People's Sexiest Man Alive twice. That boy is smoldering. That's an enormous fact. That boy is the final boss fight of the Mr. Bitches game. That boy is hot. <laughs> Beginning of the movie had me worried the entire thing might kind of suck, but once it turned into a good old fashioned egg hunt, that shit rocked. Clooney and Pitt is just Chef's Kiss favorite duo in film. Man, it might be. This film has a combined five and a half People's Magazine People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive Award. The half point is for Casey Affleck. Is it Affleck or Affleck? Affleck. Affleck. Because of Affleck. Because of his brother. The ongoing unspoken joke that Tess just looks like Julia Roberts is funny every single time. Julia Roberts is coming. That whole thing was very funny. It was so fun. The lead up to it was so funny that they just kept, they wouldn't say it. They're like, you know, she, well, she kind of looks like, you know. <laughs> uh, Bruce Willis jump scare. That was crazy. Did not expect need, that. Need the, He remembered how to talk in this movie. Yep. Need some more of that funny little French guy. Facts. Are you talking about the the Night Fox? I am talking about the Night Fox. What a delight. At the end of the day, everything leads back back to Sox versus Yanks, dude. I don't remember. It's because Matt Damon. Oh, they were in that. They were in the train fighting Sox versus Yankees hats. Yep. Yeah. The end of the movie was a little ass. Like we didn't really need the entire ending because of where the theft took place. But hey, that's fine. Yeah. It was fine. I mean, yeah, the ending kind of ruins the rest of the plot. Because it makes you realize that the, you just watched, I don't know, filler. 50 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. The The actual theft took place so far into, like, so early in the movie. Ocean's 13. 2007. Four stars. He shook Sinatra's hand. You can't break that. You can't break that's some, heartbreak. That's fucking heartbreaking. You cannot by the way. break a bond if you shook Sinatra's hand. Love this. The Vegas heists are much better than anything in Ocean Twelve. The power of friendship conquers all. A great finale. This I movie's say, just about the power of friendship. It's such what's a the, what what's a the old Jewish guy's name? Ruben. Big Rube. Ruben. When Ruben had a heart attack and then just acted like he had a stroke for, I don't know, two thirds of the movie, six that months, really bothered six me. Six months but... of time in the movie. Yeah, listen, yeah. this movie's about the first move. All three movies are, are about the power of love. It, it's Danny's love for Tess. Then it's, it's it's hot Brad Pitt's love for hot lady. And then it's all of their love for big, big Rube. Ocean's movies are about love and friendship, except for Ocean's 8. Really, it was just about money. <laughs> that, that's back to the real roots. True. Ocean's 8, 2018. Three and a half stars. I did not watch this one with you. I watched the first three with you. Yep. This is and will always be an Aquafina hate account. Correct. First and foremost, 
That's not even in the review. That's just a disclaimer. Correct. Yeah, it's not. Is this the anti Aquafina podcast? Yes, for sure. Okay. If there's one thing I hate about this movie, it's Aquafina. There's one thing I love about this movie, it's Hathaway's tat fits. That's huge facts. When Ruben and Yen appeared, I audibly celebrated, which goes to show I enjoyed the nostalgia of the original series more than that. I mean, however, that that was not how I thought that was going to end, but sure. However, it was also really good and well done. Sandra Bullock crushes could have made a case for four stars if it has an out of pocket Topher Grace cameo, but alas, no Eric Foreman equals no Eric, no four man. Yep, I was proud of that one. That yeah, that's good. That's good. I kind of fucked it up, but it's okay. Oh yeah, Ocean's good. Fury good. 2014. I watched this one with you. You went on a big Brad Pitt kick. I mean, he's such a uh, hot smoldering boy. Am I a big sucker for World War II movies? Yes. Did I almost cry when Emma got the big splat? Also, yeah. That made me sad. I'm not a sad crier. That one got me. Yeah, Machine, his whole life got done dirty right there. It did. He was about to fall in love with a nice German girl who was going to make him eggs. And instead, <laughs> she got splatooned. Can we just talk about what's the the dude Shane from The Walking Dead? I don't know. I never you watched know who, The Walking Dead. The dude who licked the egg. Who is that? I didn't watch. No, no, no. In Fury, the guy who like licked oh, the egg. Yeah, the Punisher, John Barenthal. John Barenthal. Every time he shows up in something not The Walking Dead, it's a jump scare to me. That's a crazy thing to recognize him from. Is like the only thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I you're well, alone. I never think of the Punisher. I think you're alone in that one. It, I might be. I also know. Is he? Is the Punisher the? No, 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 no. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. That's bad ape. Yes, it is him. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're going to move on to something that you got, I don't know, two and a half months ago. Blade Runner. 1982. Four stars. Harrison Ford's... Uh, I don't... He's not good I don't remember acting. giving this four stars. <laughs> Apparently I did. Okay, I gave it a really low four. Okay, carry on. I know this was after Star Wars, but had Harrison Ford never kissed anyone before, is that worse than what I yeah, saw yes. Sean Connery do yes, the kiss? Yes, by a lot. I don't remember the kiss, but I know it's about the replicant that he kissed. Yeah. Roy is maybe my favorite villain in cinema history. He was the last unhinged. 30 minutes were perfection. He Absolute, was cool as fuck. Absolutely unhinged, cool as hell. Mr. Robot Bitches does go crazy. Yes. Surprised this doesn't have 14 sequels with all the world building they did. This movie was well on way to me giving it like a two. And then I really loved the last Roy. 30 minutes. Yeah, I really like loved that whole way at the end. Yeah. Thought it was it finished strong. But yeah. And then I watched Blade Runner 2049, which was so fucking long. So I un- watched the. First, I don't know, 45 minutes before I tuned out. Yeah. And then two hours later, it was still on. I can't really tell you how it ended. And then I meant to look it up. And then I didn't. It have Anna Darmus in it, who was like a hologram hot bitch lady on the billboard. Bro, she was naked pink lady at the end. You missed that. That was nice. Yeah. Is she actually naked in it? I mean, she's kind of like a mannequin, but... Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> yeah, Blade Runner 2049 visually was unbelievable. Um, no, that's when she was on the billboard. Yeah, but then they... they I was, did see that. Hey, there was a real version of her later that gave that gave Ryan Gosling a little smooch. A little smooch. Yeah, she did look hot as hell Unbelievably in this movie. hot. I mean, in every movie. But yeah. That's true. Yeah, the, this movie was just a fucking snooze fest at the end. It didn't... It didn't, it needed to be like 45 minutes shorter. I can't do it. Blade Runner 2049, 2017, three and a half stars. Dennis Villeneuve. I have a predicament with this film. Visually is an absolutely stunning masterpiece. I loved all of the characters. I love the universe and world building done between the two films. But it was so fucking long and not like oh it's long but it goes by quick long but it was truly a slow burn through 
all 160 something minutes of this that by the end I was so checked out that I could care less how it ended or what was going on. I just wanted to carry on with my day. Yeah. That being said, Anna the Armas has skyrocketed back into my number one spot comfortably just because I kind of forgot about her game. Rookie move. Yeah, I won't forget, forget again. Me. Big pink lady with snoo snoo. Big That's pink. true. That's true. Yeah, it was so long. I can't I couldn't do it. And like I don't mind a long movie. I don't love a long movie. I'm a I'm a noted ninety minutes is a perfect movie guy. But this one almost three hours long is fucking crazy. Almost three hours long with not that much action. It's wild. Other than like the first five minutes and then maybe thirty to forty five seconds dispersed throughout three hours. Yep. Yeah. Master and Commander, the far side of the world. So that's Seth Rogen. No, it does look like Seth Rogen in that. It looks like a combination of Seth Rogen and John Russell C. It is Russell Crowe. Yes, it is okay. Russell Crowe. Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. Shout out our movie book club. Shout out Davis's pick. Never had seen it before. He said it was a comfort film for him, which is psychopathic. It was good. It was fine. He said to the lesser of two weevils, which I liked a lot, and then they cheered. <laughs> Nah, this movie lost a full star when I saw those hammocks in a sea vessel. Yeah, that was that pissed me off. It was like a minute in. Maybe a minute in. <laughs> yeah, you weren't expecting that. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> no, it was not. Maybe a minute in, and they cut down to like the barracks of the ship. And there was just sick boys in hammocks going with the f- motion of the ocean. And I went, nah. that's Brother, dumb. when you're sick at sea, you just need a hammock. No, that's wrong. <laughs> That can't be right. Back to you, Hunt. And up next, I've never heard of this fake movie. Uh, this is your ghost. That wasn't a real word to me. You know the guy. Uh, you know the weird Greek guy who made poor things. Yes, he makes a lot of other weird movies, such as this. Mostly starring. Is Colin. the next one? I've seen the Sacred Deer, by the way. Mostly starring Colin Farrell. Okay. <laughs> yes. All this says is I'd choose to be a bonobo. Apes together strong. You can't say I'm not on brand always. You're not. You are on brand. So the lobster. Which Hold on. The last. Riley, it's been over two weeks, almost two and a half weeks since we finished the last of the. We're still in the apes. It's been almost a month since you started. Yeah. We're still aping hard. I have a feeling this is just the new normal for us, and I don't know how to feel about it. You might be right. Hunt, I think you're going to like The Lobster. Would you like to hear should what I The watch Lobster's it? about? I Should I watch it tonight? You might hate The Lobster. Just tell me. I probably won't watch it. All right, so what this movie is, is when if someone becomes single as an adult, they go to this hotel, okay? So... Colin Farrell's wife left him. So then his he he starts a 45-day stay at a hotel. This hotel has all the singles. So it's designed for you to find your next pair. It has a so that its whole thing is that society puts too much value on being in a relationship and whatnot. But it's like a sat it's a satire on it. And at the end of the 45 days, if you do not find a new partner, you are turned into an animal. And this guy <laughs> Wants I to be a lobster. a lobster. He wants to be a lobster. You get to pick your animal. So like he goes, he goes in with a dog. The dog is his brother. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, shit ensues. Uh, I also now, watch Bloodsport. Not just Brian. Shout out. Brian Club. gave it a half star. That's what I'm saying. This movie's good. I can't believe this movie was actually good because the beginning was so horrifically bad. Kumate, 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 kumate. kumate. Yeah, kumate is nice. I liked Bloodsport. It is really. It's fun. It's. I understand. It's objectively not a good movie. Yeah. But for me, there's a lot of fond memories of watching these movies with my dad, and just in general, kind of shitty kung fu movies go crazy. That's what it's all about. All right. That is. I'm gonna give that a like. Thank you. Nice. The Greatest Showman. Again. I have one note. I didn't write a review for this. I also have one note, even though I said... This is a coveted five stars. Yeah. Did it get the Golden Heart? Of course it did. just doesn't show up here. Oh, it it did. Five stars. No notes. 
the entire entire soundtrack should have won the the Oscars for best song. I do my my only note was I made you laugh because the bearded lady when she busted out into the song that should have won the Oscar. This is me. I went, damn, she has a fat tits, and then you're you just started laughing. Bong hong badongalums. Dong hong bong dongaroos. Yes, yeah, dude, yeah, she's got them. And then unfrosted, which to wrap it up, yeah. Of what I can remember, yeah, I fell asleep for a movie. lot of this film. I did. I watched it in its entirety. I watched it, it in its so entirety, but I bad. I did doze off minutes at a time. I think I need to. Oh, I, this is the one thing that I missed. Oh yeah, you were in the other room getting a drink or peeing or something. I, I think I got up to pee and I missed Peter Dinklage as the milkman saying, "Some say I am the milkman." Uh, Some say I am the milkman. Movie had its funny moments, but my favorite part is when I fell asleep. Yeah. Fair. Unfrosted suck. Jerry Seinfeld's take on the, the... I did like that they called it a dingus. It, yeah. That, that made me good. laugh every time. It did have that, its laughs. And then the rogue dude exploding. Don't remember that. That that was pretty funny. I w- That was the one thing... That I laughed at. I, there's, I think I Logan laughed at a few kept laughing at it, and I was, I was like, I don't think that this is funny. It has a hilarious cast. It does have a hilarious. Was it Bill Burr? Yeah, he played it? the pre- he played JFK. It's, he played JFK. Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, I also skipped over something: the killing of the sacred deer. This movie is fucking weird. I liked it. My boy Stevie was getting done so dirty this entire movie. Uh, my girlfriend did not like this. That's a rep. So Stevie is the actor who played the little kid. Well, he was a character in St- called Stevie in a movie called Mid Nineties. Okay, I think directed by Jonah Hill. Really good movie, Mid Nineties. But Stevie's the man in that movie, and he got done so he did get shot in the face in this film by his dad. That's unfortunate. He was the sacred deer. And they were just tossing my boy around in his limp legs. My boy. They were tossing little limp legs around and make it being like, hey, yeah. walk. He went, little limp no legs reason. had no chance. Absolutely none. So, But I liked the movie. I thought it was good. Colin Farrell I don't remember it well enough. I just remember we watched it on Plex when I lived with the Noahs. <laughs> That's a weird roommate movie. And uh, yeah, watch- right now I am watching through the Sean Connery Bonds. Do you want to go over Dr. No or No, save we'll it? do them together. Dr. No, I'm not excited. I mean, this is going to be one of those where I have a tough time getting getting through the films. I will say the kiss between him and the lady that he just arrested after sleeping with her. Yeah, I mean, which one, you know? No, no, no. There's he only one. Mis- that he can do. Wrong. He is Mr. Bitches. The king of bitches. One? At the beginning, he's, he's Mr. Yeah. Bitches, too. Don't worry. Okay. And guess what? At the end, also, also Mr. Bitches. Mr. Bitches. Yeah. yeah. He bagged three hoes. Go to the poster. All three hoes he bagged are on the poster. Are they? Yep. Oh, that's true. Yep. Honey Rider. Yep. This lady. That's the beginning rich lady. And, and then the woman that And the he... fake Asian, the fake Chinese woman. Yes. The very clearly white woman who they called Chinese. See, Miss Taro. Yeah, that sounds Ms. right. Tara? Yes. Yeah, that's her. She's not Chinese. Is Sylvia Trench the... Yep, that's the other one. She's in multiple Bond? Oh, I guess she didn't die or anything. She was just a rich lady. What is she in? Dr. No from Russia with Love. (laughs) Oh, that's another. Bad girl. Bond girls are forever. Yep. Nice. Inside Dr. No. Okay, she's in in Bond and then Bond documentaries. And my brother Jonathan as young girl. Yeah. Shout out Eunice Grayson. Sean Connery do, did have it on. I fear. He did. <laughs> I fear. What are the other ones that hold on? I have it. I got it. I got it. I got it. The other con man. He is gold member? A gold member. Goldfinger, the next one. I don't have them in order. I want to say from Russia with Love's the next one. From Russia with Love is a and yeah, then is. and then Goldfinger, and then I think Thunderball, then You Only Live Twice, and then Diamonds Are Forever, and then like twelve years later, Never Say Never Again. 
He's in a lot of I movies. I can't believe I have six left. <laughs> Not a fan. Dude, he's in so many fucking movies. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Another time, another place. That looks like a Bond movie, but I don't think it is. Please say it's not. Please, I beg of you. Hunter, are you excited? Hey, hey, we're going to the finals. Your Oilers are going to the ship. And your Celtics. Trying to bring the motherland home. Uh, Game one for both series is tomorrow, I think. Lord Stanley's Cup, Hunter. Lord Stanley's Cup hath, hath runneth over. And me, on my quest for Larry O'Brien and his golden trophy? Ooh. So I will... I'm just staying at your house till you get home tomorrow because I do want to watch the Oilers and Celtics. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. We, I'm fine with that. Thank you for watching my dog. He's sick. You're, she's sick. She's sick. You're welcome. She's not really sick, but Lauren's hey, worried. Thank you for being my dog. Well, uh, you guys can go check us out. We had a three-hour shaboing boing on the All Bros. That should be coming out this week or next week. Go check that out. I was not prepared for that to be three hours, but I did have a great time. I did have fun. Listen, I never go in. Expecting- Caleb and Rose are great. I've only talked to them maybe two other times, but they're they're really good dudes. I talk to them like five hours at a time because I usually end up doing like a three-hour episode with them and then hanging out and talk for like an hour, two hours afterwards. Are both? Are they both... Is it Utah? Utah boys? No, Rose is Utah. And Caleb, Caleb is, is Georgia. Okay. I know this. I think he's Georgia. I don't. Yeah. We need a meetup. We need the all bros meetup. We need to get all of the bros there. I don't listen to a lot of podcasts that like I'm on. Mainly our well, podcast. I do not, listen to you're our not podcasts. You're not on podcasts. But I mean like if we go somewhere for a meetup and I'm on it. I don't listen to that either. Okay. This is one that I will probably listen to because it was very fun and I'm going to listen to it and agree with everything that we all say. I do. Yeah. You make, yes. You make, yeah. You make, yeah. You know what? I think that is a, uh, I think that is a 92. And then you be like, yeah. I think it's a 92. And you'd be like, a strong agree. You're like, yeah, I fucking called it. You're like, this dude, this dude's killing it. Oh, I got to add dumb and dumber to the list. Hey. I'm the keeper of the wheel. I added it to the list. I'm kind of starting to think we should take directors off to try to truly work on finishing the franchises. Why don't we just make it a separate wheel? We could do that eventually. I'm going to take the directors off, I think. Okay. It's time to finish this bitch. It's time. St- I think you still have way more than you think you do. Brother, I don't. I know what's in front of me, and it's daunting. <laughs> it's unbelievably daunting brother let me tell you i'm almost let me get this updated and we'll go over the list okay i can take connery off there i can take blade runner off there we did i did watch a lot since the last update honestly you really have i did take off a bunch at the beginning okay all right there's now 43 entries left on the wheel that's a well. You did watch fifty in one year. We're one through. Year. So yeah, we are now through. Let me go to my list. We just surpassed two hundred. We are now at two hundred and three movies watched for the wheel segment, and we are on our forty eighth franchise, which means we are more than halfway done the wheel, and that's pretty good. That's actually wild. We're more than halfway. Did you think through. that the, this is going to be just a two year bit? What are we going to do when we don't have the wheel? It's, the end it's of like the show. a third of our show. Yeah, it's the yeah. end of the show. I guess we'll go back to plunge picks and uh, tears. <laughs> oh, we could do a tier of the franchises thus far. We we should do that next week. Like just a tier list episode. Once we get to 50, we'll do that. Okay. Here, let me uh let me to end, let me let me show what we have remaining. All right. So, remaining on the wheel. As of today, we have Friday the 13th, Mad Max, Ghostbusters, Lego movies. Also, like 40% of these are just horror movies now because I keep skipping them. Which it's true. I'm going to have a rough time. It might work out that those are all come in October, though. So This is very true. Uh, Lego movies, Hostel, Saw, Insidious, Old Godzilla, 
Pierce Brosnan and James Bond. Baby genius. You have so much James Bond on the wheel. <laughs> Roger Moore, James Bond. National Lampoons. The Fockers. Halloween. Insidious. Alien, Great. Predator, and Alien vs. Predator. I'm doing all of those at once when they come. Just cause that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I do. I have the box set for all three of those, so I'm gonna crank them all out when they come. Twilight, Anaconda, Indiana Jones, Karate Kid, Timothy Dalton's James Bond, the original Star Trek, the new Star Trek, Lethal Weapon, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Godfather, Sharknado, Tremors, Final Destination, It, Old Boy, Hellboy, Kill Bill, Twenty Eight Days Later, Caddyshack. DuckTales, Jumanji, Pink Panther, Princess Diaries, Gremlins, Crank, The Boondock Saints, and Dumb and Dumber. If we're talking the non-twos, because everything from here on uh, here down is the two entries, I think we're dealing with like 30 left of the full-on franchises. Pretty That's kind of nutty. Pretty good. Also, brother, when this wheel ends, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to make another fucking wheel. Okay? TV shows that you've never seen? That could be good. That would be a lot. That would be like a bi-monthly thing. Yeah, it would. That would be a pretty bad wheel. Also, no, it wouldn't. I'm a machine. You know me. (laughs) All 25 seasons of The Simpsons done in one week. There's like 36. Don't get it twisted. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, I think that'll do it for this week. We're going to get, maybe we'll hire Davis back for next week, or we'll hire the better Clark, Evan. Or I might get fired. You might. I'm the manager now, apparently. No, no, no. Because he didn't join, I retain my manager ownership. Duties. Yeah. All right. The wheel is back in your possession then. Uh, yeah. I might fire myself is what I'm getting at. I'm going to have to lay some people off and I'm sorry, Hunter. Is it Jack? Is Jack getting laid off? No, it's me. Well, we will see you guys next week. Shout out Winnie the Plunge Dog. Shout out Jack Harbison Hagler. I will be spending a day with your dog tomorrow. And I feel like I need to follow in Brian's footsteps and just send updates throughout the day. Lauren will like that. Okay. I didn't like that. I didn't get any of the photos and stuff. <laughs> except, well, I'll just send it. One. I'll send it to wolves. Thank you. So guys, we will see you next week. And as always stay moist. Bye. Bye. Mm.